Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with our tiny town challenge. And yes, I've heard you. I have heard you. Today we are doing something special for Opal. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. All right, I have no idea. Actually, I might be able to find it in here. I don't want to give it away. If you guys know, you know, where, where am I even going? Oh my gosh, where's the study? Here it is, activities. All right, tell, put your guess in the comments if you don't know what's happening right now. But we are about to make her dreams come true. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, all right. She has been stealing Ziggy's cross stitch stuff since day one, day one. So today we are giving her her very own cross stitch set. <laughs> <laughs> she won't be able to like actually sell these and you know make money from them but she quite literally has been wanting this since the very beginning and I think we owe it to her so there you go Opal I'm just don't let it get in the way of our business here <laughs> is she about to go she's literally <laughs> she got her first cross stitch <laughs> I mean, she's been telling us all along that that's her true passion. <laughs> she really loves it. And you know what? You go, girl. Like, look at her. She's already level two of the cross-stitch skill. She is, she's doing so well. I'm so proud of her. Now, anyway, back to, I guess, the gameplay. We did not do any, or I did not do any community center building in between episodes because I wanted to focus on making like a good chunk of money here. It is 3 p.m. So I'm going to load up our gnomes and we're gonna stock the table and just try to sell these two. And then let's see, tend the table and then start a guard sale. <clears throat> so we will try to sell these and then I'll go back up and we will try to make more. This will be great, it will be lovely. I'm so excited. I forgot to move this tree. It's fine. All right, so we sold one for 3,000 and hopefully we'll get the next one. She did poke herself while doing cross stitch. So unfortunately that didn't work out. <laughs> no, she still loves it. She still loves it. All right, girls, come on. There we go. We sold another one and I'm gonna go ahead and end that yard sale. Perfect, I love that. And I'm gonna invite Beatrice inside maybe? Do an impression? I don't know. I feel like we need to talk to her a little bit more. Alice is calling. We haven't seen Alice in a minute. Oh, we do have a little love for Cypress now. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with their little relationship. Okay, so now we're looking at bladder time. She needs to go to the bathroom. And we really do need to get her uh, cut gemstone or cutting gemstone. So we can kind of do whatever now since I'm not making gifts anymore. So we'll get that started. I will try to have her finish it today. That would be nice, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rush it because I don't think we'll sell it in the morning anyway. I think we'll end up waiting. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, the next big step, again, like I've said a billion times, is the community center. Because once we build the community center, since we're done with Opal for the most part, we can move on. You know, we can move on to the next villager, which is crazy to think about. I just, uh, it's so bittersweet. I don't want to move on. But it is time. And I do want to move this tree. That's like the only other thing. Other than like potentially putting some more shrubs out front, but I just, uh, I haven't got around to it. Anyway, she is going to bed and then we'll get up. We will probably get some breakfast, get leftover, some breakfast salad. You know how that goes. Uh, we'll use the toilet and use the shower. And did she finish this up here? She did look at it, it's beautiful. All right, we'll go ahead and put it on the charging thing. We should have started charging it earlier. Now we do have crystals on the tree, which is awesome. I'm gonna water all and weed and harvest. Harvest, we've got so much to harvest. And then otherwise her needs are gonna be great. Honestly, no complaints. So maybe we can go right into doing a gem or some jewelry. We could just, goodness, we could design some random jewelry. But the thing is, I don't know if it'll use, will it use our, uh, what's it called? The ones we have already? I don't know if it would do that. 
Maybe, perhaps. Has she really gotten like two cross stitch things done already? <laughs> Goodness. Ooh, we got, ooh, we got some good ones. We're starting to get really good ones. That's perfect. I'm just gonna load this up. We're gonna have so many crystals in here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, there we go. I do want to kind of display her cross stitch things, her cross stitch hoops. Um, actually, are they not done? They might not be done. Nope, create a wall mounted copy. Okay, is that it? Did we not, we didn't, are we not interesting? Sorry, sh stop. Uh, what, I can't, I thought I was able to, Okay, there we go. Okay, I can put it up on the shelf. That's that's lame. Okay, can I make a wall mounted copy? Uh oh, she has to resume that. That's not even done. Create wall mounted copy. Okay, she has to do it, apparently. Okay. So she did it. And uh this is exciting. Okay, I'm gonna put them in the entryway, I think. I don't know. She, it's just her favorite activity at this point. So <laughs> she's literally done all of that on her own. So you go, girl. I'm going to go upstairs and get this. And then maybe we'll do another one. Honestly, I have no idea how much this community center is going to cost us. So let's just... Let's just keep going. I think I'll make at least one more because worst case, there'll be like 3,000. There will be three to 5,000, depending on the gems and everything. We'll say there's three, three, six, nine. That'll be 9,000. So we should, if it shouldn't cost more than 40,000 to build, I wouldn't think, especially since I said that we aren't going to fully, fully, fully decorate it. We're going to decorate it, but everybody is going to kind of contribute to the decoration of it. I think, I don't know. We'll see. I keep saying, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, basically that's what's happening. A new job? No. <laughs> you need you need to stay jobless until you at least move in here and, and complete your task. All right. Now, we could potentially start with the uh, layout of the community center. Dare we? Dare we? I dare we? Is that even a thing? <laughs> Is that even a phrase? Dare? Dare? I know. Dare I? But dare we do that? Uh, I really want to. I'm very much looking forward to it. I have no idea what I want to do, though. That's the problem. <laughs> I haven't really thought of a design. I did say we were going to go, like, modern. <sighs> like, the, the shipping container is still an option. An idea. Option. Idea. But I think doing a modern, tiny... kind tiny home com community center would be really cool all right here is oops here is our last one for now so those will charge overnight and we'll have the money then so i'm just ugh, this is so good okay let's go into build mode and we're gonna try our hand at a modern tiny home i have several ideas when it comes to modern tiny homes but also i don't know what i want to do <laughs> There's just like a lot, there's a lot of different models I've seen over time. So we're going to try. I really do think kind of like container shape, maybe, possibly with pretty big windows. And I think I have two in mind that I really want to do. So let's, let's do this. Let's get the lag away from here. <laughs> That's impossible. All right, I'm going to just move all of this stuff up front. And we will move it back or play around with it or whatever at some point. And we do have that shower and everything. I'm going to actually move. No, I'm going to move it up front. And I did get this. I found this and I just bought it because I wanted to use it. Okay. I think using this area as a, like a little example is good. So I'm going to just start by making one front room. I'm just going to make like super basic like that. It's a, it's going to be a five tiles. It's going to be a five tiles. <laughs> what I could do, I could make a flat roof, right? And that's a good classic modern, but also there's the, the taller roof ones. I think I'm just going to have to go with like the square look because I was thinking about using the triangle shoot, like the triangle top window 
but I also think the triangle top window is too small. I think I'll just go with the square. That would be better. Okay, so we'll start with this. We'll add on, don't worry. But let's get a small roof. So we'll go this roof. I'm gonna face it forward and we'll go here and here. And then we're gonna lower this probably to like, uh, I feel like we can go a little lower like that maybe. And then we're going to add on like, should we do like a little porch? Maybe, should we? I don't know. Flat square at least. We'll do, should we do it in the center or off to the side? I feel like doing it off to the side, honestly. I almost want to, I'm not sure though. Maybe we'll just do a smaller one here. Yeah, I kind of like it off to the side, honestly. <laughs> All right, let me get rid of the grid real quick. So we can do like a little flower bed here and then we just need a door. I think I have a door in mind. It's, is it this one? I would consider this pretty modern. I am thinking we do, should we do like wood colors maybe possibly? That, is, mm, we, or cream. I kind of want to do cream. Or maybe we do a cream with like black accents. I don't know if this is the door that I want. Do we have another like modern type door? This is like mid-century. I mean, we have sliding glass. We have these like main commercial doors. I don't love those. I mean, we have the greenhouse roofing ones. Those are cool. I actually quite like those. Maybe we do use those. And then uh, if I can get some windows up top, that would be really cool. If I just like raise this up one and then we get like those little square windows. I don't remember where those are. They're, they're the tiny, like little, not tiny, but skinny rectangular. I know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm trying to explain it to you. Um, I don't know why I was looking through doors. Don't ask me. That was in my bad situation. I, I, I was in the wrong section. <laughs> I'm just so excited to be making this. Now I will, I'm gonna pop one of these over here because I'm gonna use those for the modern doors. I know they're greenhouse doors. Oh, here, this is it, ha. Okay, ooh, it's a darker color than I originally wanted. Cause like, what, that's lame. I mean, I could do a cream. Uh, I don't love that. We're gonna put it here and see if I have any other ones. I mean, I could do this one above, right? That would be really cool. And then we have like a completely open thing. I could do that for the whole front for the most part. Uh, but I am hoping for another longer skinny one. I mean, these are cool. It doesn't really, I want like exactly what I just put in, but like shorter. <laughs> I know, I can't ask for special treatment here. There's only certain windows. I mean, of all the things we've gotten, of all the packs we've gotten, of all the themes of everything, I strongly believe that we should have already gotten so many different swatches of the gosh dang windows and doors. I just don't feel like we've really gotten great windows and doors. I mean, we have, we have, don't get me wrong. We've gotten plenty of great windows and doors. The problem is that I don't, we don't, we didn't get enough. Like, come on, let's add in some more. You know what I mean? All right, so that's not what I'm going for. <laughs> I could raise it up some more. I don't want to keep raising it up, but the idea is like, so that there's still space in between each of the things. Like, I don't even know if I like this. We're We're gonna, we're gonna not do that. And we're gonna go and do this. And we're gonna, we're gonna just use that. It's not the color swatch I love, but we're gonna use it and it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's get a, a swatch that we might like. I think cream will be our best bet, but I think I'm gonna go gray for right now. This one is the black one, allegedly. Okay, and then I'll change this one to the black one as well so that we have that on the side. All right, now. <laughs> Now, I kind of do want to raise it up a little bit. That's not originally what I wanted to do, but I think it'll look good. Uh, I'm going to bring this in. Should I bring it in one? Honestly, I kind of like it long. And then what I want to do is I want to put a door on this side, but I guess I'm not in a huge rush. I feel like I should put windows here. Now that it's odd though, I'm like, <laughs> it's not center and it's like, I'm doing that on purpose, I swear. All right, we're just gonna leave that there. So this is the start of our community center. I like it, it's cute so far. It's not gonna be much, much bigger, I don't think. 
I'd like to do, let's try a little extension. So we'll do like out to here maybe, possibly. And then we can do a little patio area perhaps. Honestly, I don't know. Because we want to make, if we do something like this, I don't know, maybe we make it longer this way. So it's currently a five by five, but if we make it, hold on, let's do this and then bring it out one more and then we'll bring up the roof one more. Oops, sorry, bring out the roof one more. And I'm gonna need to adjust the roof again because it's too tall now. All right, and then I'm thinking we do this little jut out piece and then we, We'll make a little patio. I don't know, I might have to move this whole thing forward. I don't wanna to get too far ahead of what I'm I'm doing. Also, if I do this, it's too mid-century, isn't it? It's weird. Can I like flatten it, connect it some other way? Actually, let me try moving it this way. I mean, not great, don't love it. I could definitely do a different type of roofing though. So that's not a huge problem. I could quite literally just get this roof and flatten it completely, kind of what I did before. Do we like it though? That's that's not great. I feel like we just need to go the same size. Ugh, it'll be fine. I really do think we could, since we do need kind of a bathroom area, we could go off of, I think I wanna go off of this side and do a little, this whatever that is i'm just shaping it right now at this point so let's not worry too much about it all right and then we've got this roof on it it's definitely not i don't i don't know if that's that's not really modern i mean i can do a platform roof maybe maybe i don't want to do this kind of roof maybe i do a, like a platform like a flat a good solid modern roof then i can't use these windows but that's okay that might be the better way to do it but I don't want it to be just an ordinary box. But now I feel like I can make a, like this come out to here maybe at least. And it can go up one. Although, like I said, I wanted to put a door on this side. Let's keep it like that. Hold on, let's go back. And then we're going to do like a patio out the back here so I'm going to I'm gonna do a square deck we'll do patio and maybe it'll lead into like it'll be a garden maybe I should not do I have a better nope <laughs> ha. we're gonna just do this square and then it's gonna lead into the garden the little garden that we're about to have I know we don't have one yet, but you know what? It's it's a start. I don't know if I want to do this roof because I feel like it does scream too much mid-century, but I kind of do because it's, I just, I have a model in mind. So anyway, we're going to keep this for right now. Maybe we can work with this inside. Maybe it doesn't have to, it just doesn't have to be this shape I don't know but basically what this is going to be it's going to be one like gathering room and it's going to be a bathroom a gathering room and a bathroom I don't know if we necessarily need a kitchen but that's also something to think about the gathering room and the bathroom and then it goes out to the back and it will have a little tiny garden area I'm going to move this now we're going to move her I don't want to move her completely out but also at the same time I kind of do I don't know, what do we do? What do we do? Somebody tell me what to do. I feel like maybe over here would be cool, but then it's kind of like right there by those trees. Now, the question is, how is the maintenance gonna go with this? Because I feel like I'm gonna have to take care of all these crystal trees all the time. I kinda, I kinda like that. So we'll go with that. Again, I have so many modern ideas. I just, I can't settle on one. Ah, <sighs> okay. I want to do a cream color with maybe like wood accents. So is this, with, oh, that's just drywall. I thought that was cream for a second. I think in here like this, that might be a little too, actually let's change the time of day. I don't know, it doesn't really help. But I'm th definitely thinking cream and then we'll do some type of wood somewhere. I'm not sure what or where, but like we have this cute color of wood and we could even do it in cream. Honestly, we could do the whole thing in, honestly, like not bad. Mm. 
now I feel like, ooh, if we have like different pieces, right? Like this section back here could be this wood, cream wood color. I kind of like that. I don't like that. Now I wish, I don't know. I feel like we need to, I'm going to scoot this in one. I think it's out too far. Yeah, like that. That's much better. And then uh, we need to just make it very boxy. I think we just need to do this. Oops, I made it go out too far. I think just having like this section out the back is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And then maybe I can do some little beams or, or something. I think I will end up doing the flat roof. That way we can save this for mid-century. Mid-century, right? I think that's what I'm thinking of. I'm going to bring this back because it's kind of, I want to keep it as an idea for our like little garden. I don't know how we're going to do this though. Because there's not a ton of room. I feel like I should have moved this forward a little bit more. Just looking at it and looking at like the grid squares. So I could move all of this forward a tiny bit. And then we'd have a little bit more room for the backyard. So I'll move it up like to here. I'm going to line it up with this fence, I think. Like this fence opening. This fen The fence openings don't really line up though. So... <laughs> But anyway, let's let's think of it this way. Let me move this tree for a second. So the community center is going to be the first thing you see. I think that's a pretty good distance. I think that's a pretty good distance. All right. So now we're going to move this whole thing um, just up to, okay, conflicting block clusters. All right. Then let's get out of here. And I'm going to just move this up. Oh, that's copy. That might be why. That might be my problem. All right, let's go there. And then I'm gonna move this. And then we'll move this. I think that's all good. And then we have the little, like, wait, that's not right. <laughs> wait, what shape is my thing? What happened? Oh goodness, okay. Well, let's move this and I'll just adjust that in a second. Honestly, that's not a bad look though. Like what is happening? I don't know, but we can definitely do the patio off of this. And, oh no, shoot, no, not that. We gotta go down a level. And then we'll uh, put the patio on the back here, like so. And maybe we'll have like one umbrella or something. And then we can just pull this out here. I kind of like it. It's definitely, you know, We'll, we'll see. I don't, like I said, I need to learn to make things bigger. So we probably should do that. <laughs> but right now, this looks good to me. A lot of the modern tiny homes I've seen have quite literally just been squares and there's not really anything fancy. I can add a few of these. Hold on. We'll do it in a second. I think this will be, I don't know how it's, it doesn't really look great with the platform though you know hold on let me see can i get it to not use the platform yes i can't oh nope <laughs> i think it needs to be on the ground i don't know we're still gonna we're still gonna figure that out but i really am okay with this right now and i will probably come back in and solve the rest of it but i think doing this and then having like the garden area right here will be really cool so i just kind of want to lay this out at this point and we'll get a fence honestly it just needs to be i don't want it to be a super crazy fence but we probably should make it like a really nice we could do a hedge fence we could do like this like really tall one that's too tall could do a half wall we could do a brick I could do a glass. I don't really want to do a glass. You know what I want to do? Like this one? That'd be cute. That would be really cute. It's definitely not the style that I would go for, but it's cute. I like it. Um, we'll think about that. We have these ones, of course. Like these are really good ones. I quite like this fence a lot. Um, so that's an option. <laughs> I'm just going to lay out all my fence options. And of course we have like those ones. This one's a good one, but it's a little too not what I'm going for. I do want, like, this one's really cute. It's just a small little garden fence. That's an option. Sorry, I'm, I'm putting out all the options at this point. We have, this is good. I don't know why I'm picking all of the high school years ones, but that might be a little too fancy for me. 
Uh, picket fence, like a white picket fence is a really good one. Does it really go with modern? No, not well, it could, it could. In, in this, in this build in particular, it's not, it's not going with modern. Now we do have the beautiful stone as well. Do we want that? It would be cute, but I don't think that's what we're going to go for. I don't think we're going to go for that either. I think it's going to quite literally be one of these. I don't, I don't see it being anything else. Oh, this one's a good one. It's a good one. We got the cream. Actually, that might be our winner right there. That might be our winner. And we'll do it in a lighter color. We could do, I don't want to do it right off of here though. I want it to be its own thing, you know, like that, you know, so everybody has a little bit of privacy here. I like this. Okay. I've, I got it. Now I do like this little garden fence. It's still an option. We're going to keep that up in the air. I don't know if I want to have this on a platform. Now it doesn't need to be the whole thing either. I honestly think just having a small, like it's gonna be the smallest little garden. It's not gonna be huge. Honestly, we need to come out a little bit more though so that there's room. Again, gonna remind myself that I need to make some room. But I do really like the cream. I do realize it needs to be, it has to have more colors. It's gotta have more colors. And for the tree, we, I want to still be able to utilize this tree. So I'm thinking it can go off to the side over here, especially if there's like more room over here, but I also don't want it to like go into the community center. You know, this tree is just so nice. Maybe if I downsize it a little bit and we can fit it here in front, like I don't want it to clip into the community center too much, but it definitely can like that. I like it. It's cute. And then I could put something else over here, maybe. All right. So far, somewhat so good. Somewhat, somewhat so good. Wait, I'm going to actually put those down there. All right. And like I said, I still have a little bit left to do. Like I said, I think I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to do a platform type situation, but I don't know the exact layout of my house yet. So I don't know if I want to go ahead and do the platform. I could also just do a fence. The fence is always a good, a good go-to, especially since it comes in cream already. And we just do this, right? So it's like that. Although I feel like I need a platform. I think I'll, I'll go ahead and do the platform. So let's get, I think this is technically the platform, right? Oh no, no, no. These are the platforms. Uh, we need a square platform, please. And then we need to bring it over here and then put it on this roof. So like half walls would be another uh, good option because sometimes it, it doesn't, it just doesn't work out. All right, let's put that together. And then we need to put this together. Perfect. I'm going to, oh, uh, nope, nope. All right. We're having, we're having problems. There's supposed to be like a little. Never mind. I must have. I must have did something incorrect. I did. I definitely did. Ah, okay. What if I did here, and this, and this? Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere now. And then I just need to put one over here. And the color. I'm gonna definitely move away from the cream. I think I'll do. I don't know. Like a, some other accent color, of course where we could do a darker, like a darker wood, because this is beautiful. This is great, but also I don't think it's, it's not the move, you know, as for platform colors, we need to, we need to figure that out too. Um, I think, do I put a, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is this, this is the ceilings platform. Where are the platform colors? I always do this platform trims. There we go. So we'd have, hopefully could get make something work here. Like one of these would be really good. Honestly, that one's not bad I'm doing the cream, but then we have black trim. So let's see, maybe this cream, this cream is great. This, this is interesting. I don't want to do that. I want something like this. Hold on. Is this, this is too brown. Honestly, this would be perfect if we could get it to work like this, this wood trim. I just am not entirely sure how we're going to get it to work, but that'll just have to be something that I work on, I suppose, in between episodes or whatever. Let me go back to over here. So we want, I want the, I don't want the trim to be cream. Actually, this could work. Let's do that for right now. 
don't know if that's going to stay. And we're going to just, we're just going to play with this for now. I don't have anything done. I don't have, obviously the rooms aren't even done, but I have things picked out, you know, and placement picked out. So it's all looking good so far. And then we moved the tree. So we got that done and she just needs to like go to bed and get ready for her sale the next day. We're 28,000. So we haven't really spent all that much money yet. We, uh, we're getting there though. <laughs> we will be getting there. I really don't think it'll cost all that much. And whether or not, I don't think I'll need to do two rooms either. I really think like this is going to end up being the bathroom and then this is going to be the single room. And then, you know, you go out here to the patio and sit down if you want, or you can go into the little garden and then this is just a way out. I think that's what's going to happen. I even think the garden's a little too big because everybody's going to have their own yards, you know, it's not a big deal. So let's get her to bed the social's a little low so we'll probably need to actually talk to people tomorrow i mean we're gonna have a sale so i think it's very likely that we will talk to somebody and then our crystals will be charged two hours until fully charged quality is normal so they'll probably just sell for the three thousand but hey we'll take it it's good i'm here for it all right so she needs to go to the bathroom get some food uh, we don't really need a shower or anything yet. Uh, oop, it's fully charged. I was like, whoops, did I take it off before it was fully charged? No, we're good. All right, we're going to go ahead and stock this table now. It's 4 a.m., so we're a little early. Uh, we'll tend the table, and then we will start the yard sale. Perfect. And then we're going to need to, like, harvest our crystals and do all of that. This will be the test for this one because I'm not sure how we're going to reach it. We might have to go to the neighbor's yard for that. I have no idea. All right, we sold one. Perfect. So we're at 31,000 simoleons. That's great. And could we sell another, maybe? Yes. Oh, we sold them all. Perfect. That's amazing. Oh, such good news. All right, we'll end that. And now we don't have anything currently. <laughs> I really don't think... Can you go here maybe and get it? Can we go harvest all? She really can't get to it. Okay, great. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying that I have blinked. Oh, I don't think it's gonna cost us more than 38,000. I say that, famous last words, but I don't think, oh my gosh, really? We can't, we can't get to it? Is it because of the way it's facing? What if we did this? This is a little bit in Cypress's land but maybe he won't mind okay can we spray for bugs and water okay i think we're good and we don't have anything else to sell we don't have any more things to do with the house as of right now we are working on the right now the ugly community center <laughs> i don't love it it's all the same color we need to change that and the shape is definitely off maybe i have to bring this in i will see anyway i'm gonna end this one here i want to thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe and i will see you next time